Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you today is something that came out from the Los Angeles Times, the left-leaning, leftist media rag, Los Angeles Times, against Gavin Newsom calling out his 28th Amendment as simply political folly. Guys, everything that we said about this is now coming to pass and be obvious even to the leftists. There's a link in the description box below if you want to watch the entire thing for yourself or look into it. But make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on because we are on the, mm, the trail of freedom right here and we'd love to have you along twice a day. And on a special note, guys, I did not post yesterday. I had a medical incident where I ingested a little too much sawdust, had an allergic reaction. It was a thing. It wasn't pretty. I would not have brought the beautiful face that you guys are so used to seeing. So I scrubbed, I, uh, scrubbed yesterday, but that's why I was not here because you guys know if I have not put out a video in a day, at least one, something's up. So with that said, let's get into this because I've got to show you something. Oh, beautiful people. Do you remember Gavin Newsom's 28th Amendment, his big virtue signal to get rid of the whole gun violence epidemic, but at the same time do nothing, but at the same time expound his name further across the nation in order to make a bid for the White House? Remember that? Well, we talked about all of that on this channel when it was going down. We called exactly what it was because it was purely a political brand awareness move for Gavin Newsom to make a run at the White House. We knew it. They knew it. We all knew it. It's not like I'm magic. We all knew what was going on. But now even the LA Times is coming out and be like, mm, yeah, nah, because there's not a single state that has even come close to agreeing with him, adopting it, or doing anything with the Convention of States, which is what the 28th Amendment would require. Now remember, and this is so key as we go into this, the Convention of States is something that the left will never allow at any level at all. And the reason is simple. It kind of, it kind of uh, betrays their whole point. Every single time that you would do a constitutional convention, you'd have a majority more of red states that would then constitutionally put in different sets of rules, which would negatively affect the leftist states because there are fewer lefter states than right states. They don't want to tell you that because they're everyone's common sense solution. But to be quite honest, they'll never do it because they'd get smoked. All right, let's continue here. Let me show you what the Los Angeles time is doing. <laughs> A year after Newsom called for constitutional amendments to gun safety, no other states have joined him. Ugh. Ah, that's not that's not cute. And this is not a new an old article. This is new, June 9th, right there. So why would none of them at all joined on? Why would that be? Ask yourself that question. Because why is incredibly important. Because in his little play here, he revealed a fatal flaw in the gun control narrative. Let's continue. On NBC's Today Show last June, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a proposal that seemed politically impossible from the start, because it was. Convincing two-thirds of state legislatures in America to officially call for a constitutional convention to adopt national gun safety laws. And here's what he said at the time, and listen to what he's saying now. Okay, th this is the payoff. Quote, it's possible because their constituency demands it, Newsom said, when the interviewer pointed out that the more than half the states are controlled by Republicans who generally oppose gun restrictions. One year later, no other state has joined Newsom's fight. Well, see, that, that's weird because if the constituencies in the red states demand it and everything is absolutely going towards Gavin Newsom's point, 28th Amendment, common sense gun reform, AR bans, MAG bans, universal background checks, waiting periods, and yet no other state, even blue ones, has signed on to your constitutional convention. So that can either mean one of two things, beautiful people, and this is where the payoff is. One, no one gives a crap or believes about what you just said and they see through it for political posturing for your run for the White House. Or two, they realize that it's unrealistic and not feasible and it will end up hurting them more in the end because it portrays the, the, United, the uh, United States population as something much more right than that what they constantly tell you they are. Understand, his move here has exposed the entire thing. You can't do a constitutional convention because you'd lose more than you would gain. Therefore, you don't have the support that you are gaslighting all of us that you do. That's the point. That understand the why. And if you look at all the little nuances of what they bring forward, it always betrays the lies that they're telling you because it would have happened already if it didn't. All right, let's keep going. Because now, all of a sudden, it's something different. Because the all it, it, Duh, guys, duh. Listen, the gun initiative 
has given him another, this is Newsom, another opportunity to reach out to voters outside of California, widening his national appeal for a potential White House run in the future and creating an opportunity to expand his database of political supporters before his time as governor ends in two years. Well, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like you've been pushing for a constitutional convention and doesn't sound like it's a feasible option to get gun control nationally. Sounds like it was a political posturing taking advantage of the gun controllers again to get more people into your tent so when you don't have the, a state-level platform of the governor of California, which will diminish your, your brand and your platform, you're trying to get them in now to further your own political career. Meanwhile, zero states have adopted what you wanted to. No one has even said they're remotely close to um, introducing it. And even the California legislature said, yeah, we'll do a constitutional convention um, uh I can't remember. Motion. Motion. But um, only if it has to do with guns. So nothing else. If it's something else, then no. It's all built in, guys. They are telling you they're losing without telling you they're losing. But anyway, <clears throat> now that we've had a year to reflect on this, let me show you what Gavin Newsom has said the whole time. He's known the whole time, guys. This is where the truth starts slipping out. The governor said he expected the slow progress. Did he now? Adding that support for a constitutional amendment on gun control could take 20 years to catch on. Really? That's why you had the fanfare. That's why you had the massive video releases, the media run, all those things. It, guys, the whole time is going to take 20 years. We knew that. You didn't? That's weird because we didn't say that in our original pitch. And now all of a sudden it's 20 years when earlier it was a common sense solution that red states constituencies were demanding. Weird how that shifted, isn't it? Let's continue. Quote, this guy is such a slime ball. Come on, no one was naive about this. Really? Yeah, you're going to go have to look at the Twitter histories on Mom's Man Action every time for gun safety and Giffords, because if no one was naive about this, they sure were misled. Anyway, let's keep going. This has been done before, but not recently. It will have its fits and starts. It will have its champions and have its setbacks. And then the LA Times goes, so far the setbacks have been easier to spot. Guys, <clears throat> the entire article goes on a lot more at length and shows you a lot more. So it's linked in the description. I always link my sources. But understand what he just said. They are backpedaling so hard because this was a political run to take advantage of leftists and gun controllers on something that Gavin Newsom now says everyone knows it would have taken 20 years. By the way, thanks for volunteering. Thanks for your donations and thanks for all your emails. Um, but everyone knew 20 years, right? We, we covered that, right? Yeah, nah, you didn't cover that. Yet again, a gun controlling leftist politician has taken advantage of gun controlling constituencies because they are driving from emotion, not from their brains. That's what we've got. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.